This is super heavy. The bag is super, super heavy. But now I think it's time to go. Over the past years, I've been searching for a balance between health and living and work. As a phone addict, oftentimes I keep my phone near me as I go to bed, frequently refreshing social media, checking news alerts and events. My brain keeps working even though I am preparing to sleep. Insomnia is no stranger to me. So after a little research and talking to friends, I gradually came around to the idea of a self-isolated digital detox away from the concrete jungles of Hong Kong. How would I adapt to a world without phones and the bombardment of messages? And will I find calm? I asked our drone and phone crew for suggestions, and they pointed me towards Cyclone Country Park. So here's my journey: five days camping alone without digital devices, except for my cameras to film with. Here in Hong Kong, one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Of John and Fong, and I'm your new friend Chloe Fong. This is George. And today I am very excited because I'm going to start my new series, which is my digital detox journey here at Second Country Park for five days. And where are we right now, George? So right now we're here at the starting point of the Manly Hose Trail, and later we're going to walk about nine kilometers all the way to Pat La Beach, where you're going to spend your first night of your journey there. How do you feel right now? I feel very excited. Although my bags are heavy, still, let's get the journey started right now. Let's go. So here's a plan. As a zero experience camper, I will be starting my journey at Pai Tan Chong, the starting point of the famous Maclehose Trail, and then follow the trail crossing four different beach villages, including Pai La Village, Long Kai Village, Sai Wang Village, and Hanting. On the final day, I will try and overcome my fear of heights and a skill sharp peak. On the way, I will explore local landscapes and formations, paying a visit to the UNESCO Global Geo Park. In total, I will hike around 30 kilometers. George has been, you know, saying that I carry too many stuff, but I just feel that all are my essential stuff. So anyway. We'll see. Not just one bag, another one here. But just a few steps into my journey, and the view is absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh my God! Whoa. And I just fell down completely, and、uh, I guess my. Feet got hurt a little bit, but I think、um, it's okay. And、uh, I just switched back with George. So <laughs> currently, George is helping me with the back. Thank you, George. No problem. George said it was the weight of my back that dragged me down once I lost my balance. I think I have sprained an ankle. After hiking for about four kilometers, we find a pavilion where we take a short break and eat lunch. So we just encountered some hikers,、um, and、uh, we are having lunch together. And some of the people they don't believe that I will be camping alone. By this time, my ankle was starting to hurt. It's kind of hurt now,、uh, especially when you are walking.、It's、just. Right at the beginning of my journey, and、uh, I don't want to go back. With the pain worsening, George suggests transferring more of my belongings into his bag so that I could save energy for the coming days. How do you feel now? I'm all right. I'm doing. I'm doing great. Oh、well, yeah, we will just keep going, and I guess we are. Still on the right track. There are still like three kilometers, and then we will arrive at the Pella Beach. Walking the beautiful trail near High Island Reservoir, 
The blue water and stunning scenery helps drive my worries away. It's really like a head of a crocodile, right? This one is really like a turtle's. Look who we bumped into. Here, this little creature. The deeper we went, the more cows appeared. This one is very chill here and uh, probably having his afternoon tea. Hi there. Hello. Hello. And after a few more turns. Look at this. So now we are almost there, just less than. Look at this. One kilometers, Anna. yes, Less than village. one kilometers. We almost made it. How do you feel now, Koi? I feel so, so happy. I, I almost <laughs> feel that I want to cry because my feet really hurt. So now let's just go to the beach and uh, set up my tent. Yeah, let's finish off the last one. Following a narrow path, we cross Pila village with its 300 years of history and finally make it to the Siuki beach. strangers and you should be fine so I will leave you here for now and I'm gonna go home now so keep in touch really? I will see you in five days Yeah. 